Welcome to uni. Today I'm going to be doing a special thing. I recently got given a dumpling making device for my birthday. Yeah, I got given a dumpling making device for my birthday from my own. Uh, here it is right here. This is what it looks like. It is the chef in device. So I'm going to test this out. I did do a brief test the other day, but I feel like I have a bit of a bit of a handle on it now. I'm going to be making some little mini apple pies. Mmm, delicious. Um, I'm also going to be making some just dumplings like using wonton wrappers. So I'm using pre-bought pastry and pre-bought wonton wrappers and I believe Alan is actually going to make some little pizza flavoured ones using wonton wrappers as well. It should be amazing. Um, I did test it earlier as I said in the week. The apple pies were fucking delicious. The wontons were pretty damn good too, the, uh, the dumplings. And yeah, stay tuned to see more. Uh, and my opinion of this little device because I know you can get proper Asian ones as well and yeah Stay tuned first things step one is to cut up all your bits and pieces you need for it So first of all, I'm making some normal dumplings with mince and Mushrooms and some ginger garlic, which is something I've pre-mixed. So I'm using about a tablespoon and a half of that Yeah, mushrooms chopped up really fine onion chopped up really fine some pepper coriander like a whole bunch of coriander and then I'm just combining all that in a bowl. I also put in an egg and some vermicelli noodles which I just cooked in boiling hot water. You just leave them in the hot water for a bit and then drain them and I chopped all that up really small as well. The eggs just to bind. I, in retrospect I could have put another egg in for the amount of mince and everything I had in there but it still tasted good. I just think if it had been a bit wetter it would have gone in a bit easier like Alan's did. Step two is to take your wonton wrappers, which I bought at an Asian veggie store. You can probably get them anywhere. They're not very expensive. I think I got these for about $2.50. Um, you want to use the cutting device to cut out the shape you need. I cut a whole bunch at once by slamming it down and rolling a rolling pin over top of them. And then when you stick it on the thing, on the like, the pulling together device I guess, the, um, you'll want to wet them and I found wetting the whole top of it because my mixture wasn't super wet actually worked out better because it kind of made, made it sag in the middle a little I guess and then you just want to bring the sides up together um, till they touch if they don't if when you open it up they're not quite lined up or there's some gaps just smush it together with your fingers but it'll be fine honestly so just make as many as you want I guess uh, line them up on a non-stick something or other, non-stick tray, non-stick baking thing. I'm just using a silicon mat because it's easy. Um, and putting that on a tray is going to make your life so much easier. Step three is to cook them. So I'm just cooking them in boiling water. I guess you could use a steamer if you would like, but I just like them slimy. Uh, slimy yet satisfying. So I just put them in the water and boil them until they kind of look really wrinkly like an old man's balls I guess you'd say. Maybe that's not the most appetizing thing in the world. But yeah, they do shrink up and get wrinkly. Then I use a slotted spoon to lift them out and drain on a plate. I wouldn't put them directly onto the plate you plan on eating off because there'll still be some water involved. And then I like to mix up a bit of chili and soy sauce. Some people like a bit of vinegar in there. Um, to dip my lovely dumplings in and that's how I like to eat them. So for my apple pie dumpling thingies I'm making mini little apple pies. I just got some puff, pa puff pastry from the supermarket. I'm using the Edmunds one. Not for any reason, it was just on special. Uh, I use the device, the cutting device, to cut out the shapes I need. I've previously cooked some apples already, so I just cooked, chopped them up real small, some apples. About th I did about three, but that was plenty. You could probably do just one, because they can't really hold much. Um, then I put the, the dough on top of the device, I put a little, I pushed the pastry down a little bit and to make a divot, and then I put a little bit of mixture in there. A key is to not overfill the dumplings, but whether they're pies or dumplings, because they're just gonna explode later on if, if you do that. You kind of want to level off with your spoon, and your life's gonna be so much easier if you do that. 
Now the other thing is with the pastry ones, I've just used a bit of milk to seal them and later on I'm just going to put a bit of milk on top of them um, just so that they will actually seal shut. This was a bit harder to work with because it didn't want to close up properly so I just kind of worked with it, I worked with my hands with it to try and get it to um, seal together and just kind of pinch them together myself afterwards. So lastly you want to bake the apples. I put them in the oven for about 20 minutes I guess. Yeah, about 20 minutes at about 180. I use a fan bake oven. You'll probably need to adjust that a little bit for your timing and I ate them with ice cream. They're pretty damn delicious. So here we can see Alan is making his pizza style wontons I guess you would say. So he's just got some of the dolmio sauce from the supermarket and he is actually putting some chopped up salami in there and some cheese. We could probably add a bit more cheese than we did, he's mixing it up. Because his mix was a lot wetter he didn't actually struggle with filling the middles of his like I did so he found wetting the edges of the wrappers was fine and he's using the wonton wrap as I was using and he just baked them in the oven for about 10 minutes and it was perfect. If anything, I found the chef and dumpling maker device um, a little annoying to use. The little bits that you bring up would pop off and it wasn't broken, you just had to pop them back on. I think we could have done this a lot more quickly manually than using the device, especially if you practice it. It probably took me about an hour to do the first dumplings and then maybe half an hour for the apple ones and I'd already pre-cooked the apples and it took Alan about maybe half an hour to 40 minutes to do his pizza ones. So yeah, it's a neat thing. It'd be good if you've got some kids or something and you want to do something with them, but I think in the long run it'd be easier with the Asian version of this device or just learning how to do it the traditional way.